This morning on The Dish, food blogger and author Molly Yeh. Born in Chicago, she was attending the prestigious Juilliard School here in New York when her life took an unexpected turn. She fell in love with a fifth-generation farmer and fellow student and ended up moving to his family's North Dakota farm. There she started blogging about food and made a splash winning Food Blog of the Year honors from Sabur Magazine. She went on to write an acclaimed cookbook, Molly on the Range. And a week from Sunday, her new show, Girl Meets Farm, premieres on the Food Network. Molly Yeh, congratulations on all this great stuff. Thank you so Welcome much. Welcome to the dish. Thanks for having You've me. You've come all the way from North Dakota. You win a prize. I think you're our first. <laughs> <laughs> and more importantly, you put bacon in my beverage. Oh, yeah. Drink up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> um, so what have you brought for us, first of all? Molly? Okay, so this is like a dream brunch for me. Yeah. The main course here is shakshuka, which is eggs poached in a spicy tomato sauce, and I cover it with feta. And then over here, we have some kale with kale's best friends, which are lots of garlic and grilled lemon. And I like to cover mine with Parmesan and some toasted almonds. Over here are some green beans with what I call my magic sesame sauce, right. which is sweet and salty and it makes everything better. And then over there are some mini quiches with bacon and peas and zucchini. And then, okay, so for dessert, these are... <laughs> a girl after my own heart. <laughs> these yes. are olive oil blondies with chocolate frosting and my favorite ingredient, sprinkles. <laughs> and they're chewy and dense and, and they're kind of healthy because they're made with olive oil. <laughs> and then um, to drink some Bloody Marys with harissa, which is a smoky Moroccan pepper paste. So they have a little bit of a kick. Tell us about the collision of influence you, influ, you, influences you have in your life, because yeah. you, you know you're in the you're in the great Northwest now, but you've got Asian and Jewish influences. Mm -hmm. How does that all come together? Well, I grew up with a lot of carbs. <laughs> <laughs> I had the Chinese pot stickers and scallion pancakes and all that good stuff, and then I also had on my Jewish side matzo balls and challah and some of my favorite comfort foods. So it all comes together on the farm because if I want Chinese or Jewish food, mm -hmm. I have to make it. Like we don't have Zabars down the street. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I also, there's also like so much good food on the farm yeah. that I've had so much fun learning about, like hot dish and cookie salad, and we have eggs from my chickens. So it's just this wonderland of tastiness. Your transition to me is so fascinating because you were studying percussion at Juilliard, which is cool in and of itself. Yep. But then this thing happened and it changed your life. Tell us about that. Well, I moved to New York. I lived a few blocks north of here, um, right in Lincoln Center. And when I moved to New York, I discovered this amazing world of food. And I had this percussion teacher there, who, Gordon, who was super into food. And he would come to my percussion lessons with uh -huh. all of these stories about this new burger that he tried and getting into these hard to get restaurants. And um, and I just was so excited by that. I started leaving my practice room earlier and earlier to go try right. new restaurants. And, and then I started my blog when I was at school. And at first it was just supposed to be kind of a life diary and a scrapbook. Right. And then it quickly became clear that I only wanted to write about it. You made food. a career out of blogging. How did that yeah. happen? Um, I, well, okay, so when I moved to Grand Forks, I didn't really have any friends when I moved there. <laughs> and so I just put all of my energy into the blog, into working on photos, meeting other bloggers, yeah. and, um, and you know, improving recipe development and all of that. And so over the course of the time that I've lived in this farm area, I've been able to just make it a job. and. Now I work from home in my pajamas. I know that you've said, though, it's been a tough learning process, though, because there was a lot to it from the business aspect, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not one of these careers that tons of people have done. It's not like farming like my husband does, where he's a fifth-generation farmer. Right. This is kind of a time where bloggers are first-generation bloggers. So it's not something that had been done before. So it's a lot of learning on the go. Very exciting. And tell us about, really quickly, your new TV show, Girl okay. Farm. So it starts next Sunday um, at 11 a.m., and it's <laughs> going to include food from all of my favorite influences, like my Jewish and Chinese culture and the farm, and um, it's going to be 
so much fun, and there's going to be a lot of sprinkles, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love that. All Can't right. have enough sprinkles. Molly Ye, as you sign this dish, okay. if you could share this meal with anyone, past or present, who would it be? Okay, well, it's Father's Day tomorrow, so I'm going to see my dad. Oh, Hi, good dad. Choice. <laughs> Wonderful choice. Chef Molly Ye, thank you so much. Thank Such you. a pleasure. And for more on Chef Ye and the dish, head to our website at cvsthismorning.com.